Welcome to Hidden Pearls, where we're privy to pearls of wisdom from people we know and admire. I am your host, Winter Patterson. Today, we have the luxury of interviewing the founder of Lamique Cosmetics. She is also the youngest African-American woman to launch a full cosmetic line in a major department store. She is the one and only Miss Kim Roxy. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. One thing I love about you, you, you own Lamique Cosmetics, mm -hmm. which stands for Love and Makeup and Kindness. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? To be honest, um, I came up with it my senior year in college. And basically, it was Kim spelled backwards mm -hmm. um, and the L.A. from my middle name. Okay. Um, but when I was in that buyer's meeting for a major department store to carry my brand, they asked me, Lamique, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I could not say it was Kim spelled backwards. Mm -hmm. I knew that wasn't what was pushing me, what was driving me, mm -hmm. the reason why I was doing it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's not going to work out. I was like, so in that moment, the Holy Spirit gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Love and makeup in kindness. But on the spot, he downloaded it to you. Quick. Mm -hmm. Right that's in that good. moment, he gave it to me. I felt so good good about it afterwards too because they just they were blown away mm -hmm. and I was like because beauty is revealed and not applied mm -hmm. and it became my tagline yes it gave purpose to the makeup which mm -hmm. is all what it's about. You said in kindness, you're also very kind to the environment. Yes. Working on making very eco-friendly products. Mm -hmm. So what made you do that? Which I think is such a great idea. Mm -hmm. See, women that look like me, uh, surprisingly enough, actually care a lot about their environment mm -hmm. and what's natural. And the reason why I say women that look like me, the statistics show a mental report just came out mm -hmm. saying that women of color, 60% higher versus 40% cares about natural ingredients, eco-friendly, all of that. We care about that. We care about what we put inside our body. That part of it really matters to me about the environment, mm -hmm. about what we're doing with the packages once, you know, can we reuse them or we just throw them away. That's good. So now you started, you mentioned in college, mm -hmm. And you opened your first store in 2004 in mm -hmm. Sharpstown Mall. Yes, my mom. Your mom was your benefactor. Yes. And now you yeah. are in stores all over the country. Mm -hmm. You have your own store. Did you ever think you would get to this level? Did I think this was going to happen? You know, I can't say exactly what I thought. I just knew that every day new things would unfold. Mm -hmm. And I just had faith and just, uh, how can we say, no fear to what the circumstances or what could end up the consequences of mm -hmm. my faith could happen. That's right. Um, so if it's gotten me here, then praise God. And have you found that as you take each step forward, like it starts to unfold, like mm -hmm. God's plan starts to make sense mm -hmm. as you're walking towards? It's funny because I feel like as it unfolds, I start to make less sense and God's plan starts to make more sense. Okay. I've had to go through some struggles. Oh, absolutely. I've had to go through some homelessness. I've had to go through some just really dark stuff that sometimes we don't think those alleys get us to that success, oh, but it does. Mm -hmm. And um, I can still say it with a smile, mm -hmm. but I've had to go through. Some would think, if that's God's plan, why do you have to do that? You know, like right. if it's God's I've plan, mm -hmm. you know, why you, you know, have to stay in that rundown hotel? You know, mm -hmm. like if it's God's plan, then why, why would you struggle? Yeah. Not but so. yeah, because mm -hmm. but God is so faithful. Mm -hmm. If you don't forget where you've come from, mm -hmm. then you can really get somewhere special to where you're going. I think sometimes we get caught up in a few accolades and a few whatever. Right. But there's so much more. Mm -hmm. There is so much more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you thinking, I mean, you look like more. Thank uh, you. There is so much more. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm not even caught up in the last award I just got. That's I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm looking towards... You know, I'm pressing. When I saw you speak one time, you talked about how when God was getting ready to elevate you, he started changing the way that you ate, mm -hmm. the people you hung around, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. that you were doing. Mm -hmm. It was like there was a time for you to cut things off and mm -hmm. really focus. Mm -hmm. And um, can you talk about that? During that time, you know, even when it came to like shopping and stuff, I mean, I used to love a good designer handbag and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And God started to show me like, what you spend your money on should be an investment. Or can I take that money, that two thousand dollars mm -hmm. that these type of bags cost? Can I take that and then uh, invest that somewhere in my business? Mm -hmm. Can I invest that in a new job for That's someone right. to at least have get them started and then we you know we pull in more revenue? Like, what can I do with that? Or can I just buy a purse that's two hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. right? Right. And be able to make better investments, better choices. That's right. The way I ate, you know, you think about it. 
like eating more healthy, all of that, it affects your skin, mm -hmm. it affects your mind, the way you think, mm -hmm. all of those different things. Making those type of choices, even when I made the makeup, making it vegan, mm -hmm. paraben free, That's talc right. free, mm -hmm. all of this stuff. I'm thinking about the ROI. What's going to be the return mm -hmm. on that investment of product mm -hmm. that you use? Now, one thing I noticed uh, or read is that you you know, started your business or started your first store in two th 2004 and mm -hmm. then you lost your mom mm -hmm. in 2014 to breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And when I, you know, from what I've seen of you, you never missed a beat. How did you handle both managing a business and managing grief. So when we found out that my mom had breast cancer, it was the same time I found out I was going inside of a department store. Um, wow. So huge, huge victory, huge victory. I didn't lose my mother. Mm -hmm. Her work here was done. Mm -hmm. Was it lost or was she finished? That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It wasn't lost. She was done. Mm -hmm. It was finished. Mm -hmm. She left remnants of herself with me. Mm -hmm. My mom, last night we were looking at old pictures with my aunt, my mom's sister. My mom never left the house without makeup on. Mm -hmm. If you look at my mom's pictures, we look just, I mean, super fly. She's probably as fly as you. You're a little bit flyer than me. <laughs> like, my mom was super fly like you went to. Like, my mom always kept it together. Mm -hmm. Never left the house without makeup. She had a little vanity at home mm -hmm. that she had set up. That's how she would put on her makeup before she left the house. For her child, her next generation, to launch a makeup line. This was a dream come true for her. She yes. invested in it. She made it happen. That's right. She helped work in it. She did all that. She made it happen. Mm -hmm. She was finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I just been pushing forward ever since. Yeah. I think about that scripture, I shall live and not die. Yes. I love that. Yes. And that's what you did. You decided yes. I am yes. going to live. Yes, because she's living. That's right. She's that's living right. eternally. Yeah. You are known for the celebrity eyebrow kit mm -hmm. for people who are eyebrow challenged, mm -hmm. who don't know how to do their own eyebrows me. like me. <laughs> Look, we both <laughs> like said me, me at the same time. Me. <laughs> Where can we find the celebrity eyebrow kit? So the celebrity brow kit um, is available um, through LamiqueBeauty.com. Mm -hmm. We're also on social media at Lamique Beauty. The celebrity brow kit was just created because I had no eyebrows, like as far as like they stopped at a certain place. And I was like, okay, I'm selling makeup. I'm getting women to understand the true makeup and get this makeup. And I don't even have eyebrows. Your brows frame your face. I, that's how I ended up discovering the brow kit. So that's the reason why you can't even get mad at your problems mm -hmm. because your problems will come back to serve you, mm -hmm. right? And so the whole point is for you to come up with some solution. Mm -hmm. God is just trying to get a solution out of you. Mm -hmm. And you mad at the problem. Mm -hmm. Your problems will come back to serve you. <laughs> yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. So, like, don't even get mad at the problems in your life. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to learn how to sculpt them like yours. Okay. So, I will be getting my kit. Yes, you will be getting your kit. You will be getting your class. I'm all about the class. Yes, we're working on a huge class. Well, I have enjoyed talking with yes. you. You have been a pleasure, and you have given us some great pearls of wisdom to help us with business, mm -hmm. handling grief, mm -hmm. and just being completely focus on what God has called us to do. So I appreciate you. Thank you. And you keep doing great things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Love you thank so you. much. Love you more.